Hello everybody, welcome to uh, part two on how I made my uh, wind turbine, my hot. And uh, today's a great day because it's uh, no sun at all and pretty good wind. So let me show you uh, what worked and what didn't work so far. Okay, so uh, from the last video, I went ahead and stained the, uh, the, the tail fin here and the, the, my 2 by 4 and I polyurethaned it. But you could definitely uh, paint it if you wanted to. I just um, actually stain this the same color as the shed, kind of make it look like it belongs. And I have the, I think it was called the, the EMT conduit, which I'm actually kind of disappointed in because um, it's way more flimsy. Whoops, got to hang on to that thing. Way more flimsy than I thought it would be. So they actually had another conduit that was right beside it at the uh, home improvement place that was um, like double the thickness but it was like, three times as heavy and twice as expensive. So I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, switch that anyway. So uh, one thing I did not mention in the, the first video or just glazed over it was the cover. Now this cover here is just a four inch PVC pipe and this little section here, as you can probably tell, is a two liter bottle. This just sits in there and uh, just painted it black, flat black. And I'll uh, go ahead and sit that down. Hopefully it doesn't blow away. And, and this just pops off, sorta. Okay. So I just took the four inch PVC cut a channel out of the bottom and where my um, clamps went just cut the section out there and then just lays right on top and it's actually pretty tight fits in there good sorry about the wavy camera I'm, I'm actually on top here trying not to fall off and I'll uh, show you the wiring so I just had two wires coming out of the treadmill, you know, positive and negative. And um, I just bought some wire and, and hooked them up. And I know I'm going to get some uh, complaints about these uh, little connectors here. The reason why I put these connectors on here was in case we have a, a hurricane or something come through, because uh, we, we do have a, sometimes, you know, one a year, two a year, something like that. I can just uh, pull these out real easy and take it off the pole because I don't think this would survive, you know, 50, 60, 70 mile an hour winds, depending on how bad the hurricane is. So um, obviously these just run right down the, the pole there, and I just this probably won't go on that easy. There, it just fits in like that. Now all the wirings are covered the motors covered. As you can tell there's now four blades instead of two. Um, I found that it does add to the stability of it and it also um, uh, it has a, a slower wind startup with the two blades um, I think you need around nine or ten miles an hour to start up and now these blades start at a, a lower speed which you know gets it going a lot a lot quicker so that's definitely good um, everything on that seems to be working pretty good the only real complaint that I have is this pole here it's just way too flimsy for what I need right around seven or eight volts coming out of the motor and I'm not sure exact wind speed on that uh, the whole thing just starts to rattle and shake then it actually stops shaking or like Eh, around 9 volts. So after um, it starts shaking, that's when it starts working pretty good. But I, I definitely do not like this this pole, and I will be replacing it. Okay, um, as you can see here, it's now hooked up to the regulator. I just have it um, hooked up to the multimeter to show you guys. Um, but I usually can get 16 or 17 out of it. Um, with with not much uh, not much wind, and now it's, of course it's settling back down. But uh, let me show you. 
Uh, this right here, the blades are spinning. It's probably making, uh, right now it's making 12 volts, which you know isn't enough to charge anything. Uh, now it's 13, 14, 15, 16. Actually, it's on 18 volts right now. As you can tell, it's, it's just cruising. So that's just a good example of what it looks like when it's charging. And uh, it's really flying now. And I'll show you. Now it's starting to settle down a little bit. And it's right around 10 volts, 9 volts, 8, 7. Yeah, because it's, it's starting to slow down. 6, 5. And it's starting to speed up a little bit more. Now it's back up to 10. So, anyway, um, just want to show you guys that real quick. Okay, um, so now I have it hooked back up. Just want to show you the wires. Uh, just basically, I have the two wires there. I run out of the pole and run it up. I don't know if I can get a decent shot. Doesn't look like it. Anyway, it just runs up into the, I'm not sure what you want to call it, the soffit, I guess. But it just runs up under there, and I'll show you the inside part. Okay, here is uh, the inside of the shed. And uh, these two wires on this side are the wind turbine. And I do have two red and black wires over there. That's the solar panel. And those white ones are just running to the lights. So I have the, uh, move this out of the way. The turbine and the solar panel are actually uh, hooked parallel. I'm not sure how well you can see that. So I know these two are the sorry, these two are the turbine, and these two over here are the the solar panels, which aren't making hardly anything today because it's uh, pretty pretty dark and overcast today. And as you can tell, this is the the very cheap, and I used to have like ten of them laying around was the Harbor Freight Regulator. Um, works pretty good, but it just gives you a reading of what's in the battery. Um, very cheap, but it seems to work all right. And from there, uh, these two over here, these go to the battery. And I just have one battery in the shed here. I have my uh, Deep Cycle RV battery. And you know, from the battery, it just goes to my very, very small, which used to be up at the house, which is a Chicago electric power inverter, which takes the DC, you know, from the battery makes it AC. And I just have one battery out here, and that seems to work pretty good. Runs, you know, drills, charges the weed whipper, uh, runs, you know, the jigsaw. It won't run your bigger stuff like a compound miter saw. And it won't run like a table saw, like there's just too much power. But other than that, that is the the system that I have in the, the wind turbine. Seems to work really well, except for that darn pole, so I'll be replacing that soon. But okay. Appreciate excuse me, I appreciate you guys watching. Take care as always, and God bless.